Hello everyone, Marches here. Welcome to the channel and for today's video, I'll be giving you my performance review of this awesome sneaker. So let's go! Right in front of me guys are the all new JB1. Actually it was kind of, was released a couple of weeks ago already and Jimmy Butler was already using them on court but actually I had a hard time copying a pair of the JB1 but luckily thank you to Leaning for giving me an assist on the JB1 so shout out Leaning Hoops for sending this over and letting me try it out as you can see right in front of me I have the iron and blood colorway but I have to buy an extra pair so let's find out why I bought a second pair first up is of course let's talk about the upper of the JB1s. The JB1s upper features a boom fiber material on top of it from the forefoot to the heel part of the sneaker so it wraps around but surprisingly when I got my jade colorway look at the jade colorway and the jade colorway has a different pattern of weave compared to the iron and blood colorway like a more open celled pattern on the jade compared to the iron and blood which is more intact but onto the feel they both feel pretty nice on hand they're very comfy no breaking time needed so the material is from the forefoot to the heel and all around the sneaker you can see some fusing on top here this is just for design but there's extra rubber here for durability and some areas of the JB ones you can see it more here on the jade because it's more open celled here around the midfoot for more ventilation in the high wire areas it's a lot more intact so it will give you a very nice support and durability on the JB ones and even on the heel part you can see it really intact in this portion for extra durability of the material let's talk about the support on the JB one in around the forefoot part it has an amazing support very nice lockdown feel especially because I think one of the main reasons why it has a nice lateral support is this wing here that goes up and also says boom fiber but actually this is not the boom fiber the boom fiber is the material used in the upper so this lace lock here really pulls your foot down to the footbed like all very nice sneakers that have very nice support they usually have a very nice lock around the forefoot part of the sneaker and this one also has another one which is located around the midfoot part of the sneaker you can see it here it's like it's set it has a carbon fiber print to it but i doubt if this is real carbon fiber because it's soft but it has that pattern of carbon fiber even here on the iron blood you can see a very nice touch aesthetic wise so it goes down to the midfoot and when you lace it up a very nice secure fit on the JB ones plus another thing that will help out in the lateral outrigger is of course this teeth here in the forefoot that kind of looks like the Kyrie's but that's another story it really locks you down laterally when you're doing lateral cuts or side steps and also this piece is kind of nicer here in the iron blood so this is a plastic piece so it really cages up your foot on the lateral part of your midfoot and the jade has this kind of color here so very nice lockdown feel on the JB ones I had amazing I really felt secured on the JB ones when I was playing with it as for the tongue part of the JB ones it has some padding some areas around this part there's two paddings here this it's a well enough cushioned tongue on both yeah kind of similar i'll show you the jade colorway because you can see it more clearly jb1's logo here it's padded very comfortable around your foot on top of your foot and around your ankle very nice logo of jimmy butler here too on the last lace lock and this one is for aesthetic and as for the heel containment lockdown support very nice containment on the heel even though it's the padding is not too thick but 
of course just get the right size I didn't have any issues on heel containment on the JB1s it has a very nice heel counter too that kind of wraps the entire heel up to here plus this external plate here access to the heel cup and of course the cushion also goes up around the heel part for heel containment and lockdown now let's talk about the insole of the JB1s which is it's not an insole it's a drop in midsole very similar to the sister company which is the wow 808 ultra if you're using this one this is because they are using the boom cushion which i really like on the leaning way of weight cushion so they use the same tech but the main difference between this one and the ultras is this feels a lot thicker compared to the ultras i don't know why because but when i was holding it it was kind of similar but the feel of it this feels to have more cushion especially around the heel part there's a little bit more impact protection on the jb ones because it's thicker around the heel and as for the bounciness of course bounciness on the boom is really a must try it is very nice it's very bouncy and it's a drop in you can immediately feel how bouncy the boom cushion is and for me personally i like the drop in of the boom of the jb1 you feel really springy especially when you're running up and down the floor when you're running it really gives you a very nice spring back and, I, and one thing that helps out in the spring back is of course the carbon fiber plate it's almost full length here on the jb1 it's very similar to the wow tense so even without the drop in you can see it springs back so heel to toe transition when you're running up and down the floor on the jb ones is one of the best you can see that very nice curve shape on the heel so when you're doing heel strike and very nice curve in the forefoot too and what's nice about this one the dynamics or design of the jb ones even though this is curved on the lateral angle but on the front view it is still very wide so your base is really stable it has a nice lateral outrigger here although it's not the hardest because it's part of the rubber which we will be talking about in a bit but it has a very nice wide base on the forefoot and heel you can see that so you're very stable on the jb ones and even though it, it is curved in the right areas which i think a very nice design for the jb ones by leaning now let's talk about of course the traction which is another thing that's different from their sister shoes which is the wow 10 all city the wow 808 ultra there's a lot of shoes from leaning and way of wade so this is the main difference because this rubber piece here that is like carrier foam they use foam instead of the rubber usually which is thicker it's very similar to how curry brand implement their outsole where they use the same rubber material with their foam or cushion but this one this is not the cushion but it's made out of that foam material so the only downside for this one is of course i will not recommend this to be used for outdoor use because it also is very expensive because when i was playing with this in indoor courts it has already some wear and tear on the rubber outsole but what's nice about this one is i was playing in a really dusty floor recently and all the other people there were slipping because of how dusty the floor is but my jb1 was gripping really nicely on the floor even though there was a lot of dust present on the floor which really surprised me and impressed me and as for dust pickup it's not a problem at all it's mainly the durability of the rubber you can't use it for outdoor use but man the traction even though there is no sound it's completely silent very similar to the curry 8s and the curry 9s it's completely silent but it grips really nicely on the floor and on a clean court it grips really really hard for the weight of the jb ones this is 408 grams it's very light it's a low cut sneaker even the J that's weighed in so this is a US 10 and a half 
this is also 408 grams so as for sizing I'm a 10 and a half in the JB ones I know you will ask me what size you will get if you will cop this JB ones my advice is follow your CM size or your euro size more I would say more on your CM I'm 280 CM here on the JB's because it's a little bit more accurate compared to if you're following your UK or US size go follow and look at your sneaker in CM and usually and in the leaning site you can see the chart there where the US UK centimeters chart is then that's what you order so that's my main advice when you're getting a pair especially if it's a China brand and if you're buying it online as for the price of the leaning JB ones it's quite expensive but I would say it's reasonable because it comes with a full length boom drop in midsole carbon fiber plate full length and the materials are very nice tractions are awesome and the price for this is 10,500 pesos if you convert it but of course if you're ordering in the site online of course they will add shipping fee for that so it's pretty expensive but in my opinion they're definitely worth it so guys let me know what you think about the leaning jb1 do you like them and which colorway do you like more hit me a comment down below this has been mark just once again thank you for dropping by the channel catch you in the next one cheers okay.